Hi guys and ladies, lately Pinterest is inundating me with emails of fish recipes. I'm drowning in them, but now and then I find one that fits my diet and taste buds, like one called Chipotle Roasted Fish. Wouldn't it be great if I could catch my own fresh fish? I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. I enjoy fishing with a slip bobber because it's visually exciting to watch the bobber go down when a fish hits. So let's start out with our rocket bobber again. And look, a 1 16th ounce jig with a mealworm attached. This will catch most species of fish in the lake. In December, we'll be lucky to catch anything. So let's get out there. Finally. Perch. Okay, a perch. I don't know what's going on in this lake. I've been out here quite a while and haven't caught anything. No bluegill. Maybe I denuded the lake of bluegill? I don't think so. I messed up that slip bobber rig. I broke the line. I don't want to get into it. It's too hard to fix on the fly. So let's put a mealworm on a 1 16th ounce jig head and see if we could catch a fish that way. I think so. Yeah. I felt that. I've never gone through a period like this, ever, where I catch perch. This is unbelievable. I can't catch a bluegill. Can't catch a bass. But perch? The sun is setting. I'm not having any luck, so look what I did. I'm putting on a gulp minnow like I used last week, and we'll see if that catches anything. Oh. <laughs> I'm still astounded. I'm only catching perch. Not a crappie, not a bluegill, but look at the size. Jumbo. I don't know what's going on. Lake Catcher Big One is seemingly transformed from a bluegill, bass, crappie lake to a perch only lake. I never had success with perch before. I mean, not like this. Another fish. Another perch. <laughs> Seeing is believing. I don't believe it. Perch are the best tasting freshwater fish in the world. Believe me. Wasn't there a song back in the 60s? Let's go perching now. Everybody's learning how. Well, I can't sing. But I think it was the Beach Boys. Something. <laughs> this is crazy, crazy. <laughs> a beauty of a perch. Oh my goodness. I've never had this happen in years, 30 years of fishing this lake. 11 inches, not bad. Yes, something. I got one. <laughs> I got a bass. Finally, 10 and 3 quarters inches. This is the kind we need to remove from the lake. You'll see why in the notes below. So please read the notes below. I'm not a poacher. This is my lake, and this is the way to manage it. Remove these little ones. Looky here. We have one bass and five nice perch. That should be enough for our chipotle roasted fish recipe. 
Well, you know the routine. We need to get in the house and fillet these babies, and tomorrow we'll try that recipe. It's freezing out here. Yesterday was bizarre. We couldn't catch the usual fish, but we had a pretty good day with what I always thought was rare in this lake, yellow perch. And looky here, we now have a pound and a third of these really nice, mostly perch fillets. But before we get to our chipotle roasted fish, let's do a tasty, healthy side. shot. Let's try putting this together. Here's about a third of a cup of pre-chopped onions I got from the store. Let's put in our avocado cubes. Let's put in our chopped tomatoes and that jalapeno we chopped up. Now I'm going to add like a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now look, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Here's a lime. You could use lemon. Let's see how much juice I can get out of it. Whoa! One half a lime is more than enough. Now I'm salting it up. Maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. About the same for the pepper. I'm putting our salad in the fridge and I'm getting on with the fish. This is a baking pan and I've got non-stick foil on it, but even so, I'm going to rub a little olive oil on it. I've got a, a yellow cooking onion here, a couple of them. I'm going to try to make sort of half rings. Now let's lay these onions down. I don't know how to do this, but a single layer, the directions say. I'm going to put our onions in the oven for 20 minutes. The oven's on 350. Look at this. I've got these chilies in adobo sauce. You could find them at most supermarkets now. I'm just going to cut them in half and then, oh heck, I don't know, just chop them up. These, of course, are chipotle chilies. Let's put our chilies in a bowl. I have these in the refrigerator. Now I'm going to try to capture some of the sauce, like, oh, I don't know, three or four tablespoons of this sauce that it comes in. Now the rest are going back in the fridge where they'll last until 2032. Let's stir it until we get a kind of a paste. Looky here. I put our fish in a platter, a big one, a big platter you need for these thin fish. And I'm salting them. Let's see how far this adobo sauce goes. Oh, I love this stuff. This is a gift from Mexico. Thank you, Mexico. There seems to be enough, so I'm going to do side two. Look, I'm done. That's good enough. Let's see how our onions look. Okay, you know, like onions. I'm not sure about this, but I'm going to lay our adobo-soaked fish on top of those uh, onions and see what happens. The recipe says bone side up. What bones? They're fillets. Bone side up. I'm not sure our recipe is correct about this, but I'm going to put these in for eight minutes. Let's see what happens. It's been eight minutes. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wow, that looks good. I'm not kidding you, it looks good. The other half of the lime, remember? Let's put it on. Here's where you should put on some cilantro or parsley if you don't like cilantro. This is that lightly dried stuff, half, semi, whatever, dried. It's good though, it's good. It lasts a long time in the fridge. It's great, but I worry that it might not be flaking enough. So I'm gonna put it in two minutes more. 
I know it's done now. Oh, the smell! If I could, if I could tell you about the smell, I, I don't have words. I'm gonna taste the fish for you. Mmm, there is some spice going on. But you know what? It's great spice. It's good, good spice. It's a little hot, yes. But I think you'll love it because it's full of that chipotle flavor. That chipotle flavor is the best. Let me try some of the avocado salad. Oh. Hmm. That puts the fire out. This is really good. It's not too hot. Well, maybe for kids and some people. But it's really, really good. Mm. Thank you all for watching. Uh, you might be wondering where my frequent dinner guest is, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Well, with the holidays upon us, she'll be too busy for a few weeks to drive way out here to this pretty cheap prefab. But we did have dinner the other night, and we talked a lot about her favorite subject again, fishing. Uh, Miss Cheeks? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I mean Lulu. Uh, you know, I'm sorry I left my wallet back at the uh, dilapidated double wide, and I, I wanted to thank you again for uh, uh, taking me to this uh, Mexican restaurant and uh, picking up the check again. You're welcome. Uh, Lulu, I don't think you appreciate the skill involved in fishing. Do you know the definition of a fisherman? Uh, it's a jerk at the end of a line waiting for a jerk at the other end. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> uh, can I have a hug? Sure, when we get outside. 